John was kind enough to say, actually, Christina, it's going to be good and bad times with the press. So just, you know, take it for what it is, really. And, you know, um, it's all started back then, really, because they were so supportive of John and I at the beginning. And then it's all kind of started snowballing into very negative um, press for John and, uh, and I as well, because we were so long on the show. And his family started struggling as well. And that's the reason why John left the competition, because the press was just really harassing his so family. So there wasn't any There wasn't any there rumor was no about rumors or anything no, like that. There? But that's when they were start saying, um, calling me Siberian Siren, which I thought was really ridiculous, yeah, you know. Yeah. But he, he would understand that. He is a journalist himself. Yeah. So it would be very naive to agree to do a show like Strictly Come Dancing, which is like a prime time show with its own built in press office. Absolutely. You absolutely. know, trying to get headlines for the programme. So for him, to I not think it kind wasn't really for that. him. It was actually for his family, I think it was very right. difficult yeah. because mm. we stayed for so long. You know, obviously everybody thought we're going to be out first or second week. And I did the same way. I thought mm. I'm going to be eliminated right away, but we stayed for so long. And, you know, it just became very difficult, I think, for his family. So he, he decided to leave the show. And then when the press start kind of going into my private life year after year you know it was really hard because I didn't come on the show to be um, either portrayed in a certain way or for my pri private life being slashed across the papers because we all want some privacy. The only thing is Christian, I'm going to be devil's advocate here yeah, now of because course, you know yes. you're a very sexy lady on the screen <laughs> and the audience <laughs> very excited about your coming but the reality is as Jane rightly said you're in one of the top television shows mm. you are a very sexy lady in every move that mm. you make yeah. And, I mean, I, again, I, I put the word alleged here, but, you yeah. know, I just made a list of the people you have allegedly yeah. been yeah. associated with. Yeah. Like an affair with Vincent Simone, when yeah. you broke up with Flavia. Uh, Joe the Boxer, yeah. whom you lived with yeah. for how many years? Yeah, four years. Four together, years, yeah. a long time. And then recently with Ben Kern. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the reality is that if you put yourself yeah. on the rack like that, you're yeah. going to get publicity in this country. Absolutely, 100%. I just don't think it has to be always a negative publicity, because also they don't really know the truth. And um, the thing is, it's really up to me and the person I'm with to live our life and to decide what's right, what's wrong. But you never get that with a top television thing. You're, you know, you're, in, you're on television every week on a Saturday night. Yeah. You've got millions and millions of people watching. Yeah. And unfortunately, the, or fortunately, the press in this country yeah. will go for that high profile. I know. But so you can't escape it, really. I know, I understand that. I think because I was raised in Russia, in Soviet Russia, you know, and, you know, for me, it was always let your work speak for itself. It's all about, you know, what you do on a dance floor, how good you are as a dancer, as a choreographer, and as a coach to your celebrities. That's what really should be the topic of conversation. I understand, I'm not that naive to, to think that press is but never going to talk about it. It's not just you they talk about, of is course it? Because not. we've had lots of, you know, they call it the curse of Strictly, mm -hmm. don't they? And say yeah. Lots of people, so we had Rachel Riley, who, who divorced her husband after when, yeah. I'm not saying this is because of, yeah. but, you know, but they, they put seem, it like that. They, they seem like to that. go together. Absolutely. Um, Joe, obviously, yeah. Flavia, who, yeah. who split up with Vincent, and then she was with Matt D'Angelo, and then, and then Jimmy, she eventually married her partner, yeah. Jimmy, didn't she? And, and Cara Toynton and Artem. Yeah. So it's not just you that they've yeah. Yeah. kind of I said. Do, I do agree, though, with what you, what you have said in the past, where you say that the woman gets greater Blame criticism yeah. with the man than the man, and and I absolutely agree with that, and I think that you're right. But again, as a journalist, I I, I do have to say to you that. I've seen I've seen you in Hello magazine yeah. giving interviews with Joe posing yeah. for pictures talking about mm -hmm, your private mm -hmm. life and it's very simple in the public eye if you sell stories about your private life to one magazine, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the rest of the press are going to mm -hmm. say, OK, that makes you fair game for us to write about mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Whereas if you are a private person mm -hmm. that never talks about your private life, that, to a certain extent, protects you. But I think you're right, and I think somebody should have told you that when you first mm -hmm. came here. Yeah, probably. And you've the media because training would be absolutely fantastic. And I think, you know, years and years been here, I think it came to a point when I had to speak out and say something. That I understand about the press attention, you know, mm -hmm. I totally understand. We, I'm working on the biggest show on TV, you know, Strictly Come Dancing for eight years now. And, you know, it obviously is going to be some interesting stuff like that. I just don't understand why women are played against each other so yeah. badly in the press, you know. Have, have you ever been close to quitting? No. No. Well, I was, but last year, almost yeah. there, you know, I was quite bad place because my mother was suffering with breast cancer scare mm -hmm. and the press was so 
horrific at that time that I thought maybe there is a point that where actually I need to step out. Mm. Was she so upset by all She was extremely upset and she was absolutely devastated to read some of the things. And I think it's thank you to Simon Webb, mm. with whom I danced on the show, mm. who actually said, you know what, I do not want to continue the show without you. Well, we're very... I know that you're the best teacher for me because he was not in a good place himself. He was, Listen, um, we're very... Christian, I'm so sorry to interrupt yeah, you. That's all right. a, yeah, that's live show. But we're very glad you didn't give up because you are going to be in the new series in yes. the autumn, aren't you? Yes, so I'm now, invited Thank back. you very yeah. much. Thank you so much. Thank you.